Um, back again doing some of the American Fishing Wire products uh, available at all your Kingfisher stores. Today we're talking about something that really does not need an introduction so we can hop straight in. Toothproof stainless steel wire. It's been around for as long as I can remember um, which isn't that long but still <laughs> it's been there. It's proved itself time and time again. You get it in all different sizes all the way down from your number two as far as I know it's the lightest that they do all the way up to about a number 14 now it's a very stiff wire as you can see that it's got a lot doesn't have a lot of flexibility that's not what it's designed to do though it's not designed to be a flexible wire you are using it for your bite traces for stuff like shad and the, the shore when you need something that's going to hold very stiff like that Sometimes you do, you don't always want movement. Movement is a very nice thing to have, but you don't always need it. Also in your cooter traces, this is the wire to use. In terms of sizing wise, you'll see it's, the sizes are denoted at the bottom. So that's number six wire. Now, sizing is gonna be very dependent on what you're doing. Guys will also have, also have their opinions on which size to use for what. Generally, in terms, your Lighter wires are more for your snook fishing, number two, number three, number four. That's gonna be for your finicky fish. And in my opinion, yeah, two, three, and four is gonna be your real target zone for snook. Uh, it's, they've still got a bit of flexibility, but they're almost invisible at that thin, but they're still extremely, extremely strong. Then moving up from that, your five, six, and seven is your kuta zone. Now, that works normally, it's very, very strong. It's not gonna get kinked off in the teeth and it will handle from your little dart cooter all the way up to your crocodiles. Um, you can also use it if you need slightly stiffer links for something such as your, your shad, like we mentioned. So your number six wire will work absolutely beautifully for that. Holds the fillet nice and straight, gives you something to bind to. Then from your, your eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, is really for your bigger fish, your, your wahoo. Um, won't get through that. They will kink through some, some of the thinner wires. Um, also for sharks, works very well. If you want to make it almost indestructible trace, if you triple twist a packet of number 10 wires, so you make it a three meter trace, because it comes in 9.2 meters, make it a three meter trace, twist it together like that, it becomes extremely strong. So, applications all the way through from your snook, all the way up to giant sharks, it will handle it all. Also the nice thing about the thicker wire is that you can use it to make dingle dangles. So you're making this just this individual length, you do a haywire twist which is very conveniently described on the back of the packet, which is a very nice thing to have. You don't even need a knot tying book, you've got it in your packet for free. They, you just need to put two loops either side. Um, I find it's very helpful to have a round bar or something like that that you can twist the wire around first and pull just to form that rounded loop. And that makes it a hell of a lot easier when you start twisting. Also, just a little tip, make sure that you twist the wire together. So you want both of the wires twisting around each other, not one twisting around the other one. That's how you get your most strength. And when it comes to breaking it off, twist the wire off, so you bend it on its own axis, and it just snaps off nice and clean. You don't get any burrs, it's nice and smooth, it's not gonna catch on your clothing, not gonna hook off your line. So that's the toothproof wire. Corrosion resistant, lasts a hell of a long time, doesn't rust like others. And yeah, we'll, we'll get those toothy fish on the boat or on the shore for you. Cheers guys.